For the second time this week, NASA's Artemis rocket did not fly. The space agency scrubbed the launch of the massive rocket after a new technical issue surfaced and attempts to fix it failed. CBS's Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center. Mark, earlier this week, it was an issue with the engine. What happened this time? Well, a lot of frustration here. NASA just announced it looks as though they're going to have to roll the rocket back to the garage, back to the vehicle assembly building. That would delay the next launch window until later this month, more likely later uh, next month. Today's problem came up a couple of hours into loading the rocket with propellant. It happened at the bottom of the rocket right about here. They discovered a leak in the liquid hydrogen fuel line. They tried to troubleshoot it three different times, all without luck, and at that point, the launch was a scrub. Second time in five days that NASA has been luckless on the launch pad. Both times a liquid hydrogen leak was an issue. And frustration comes um, after years of delays and billions of dollars in cost overruns. And Lilia, this uh, rocket still hasn't left the launch pad. That's right. I mean, we were waiting all day today, back and forth, a lot of communication from NASA to the public, and it didn't happen. Just big picture here, Mark. How important is it for NASA that, Artis that Artemis 1 succeed? It's everything. I mean, NASA has a timeline to return astronauts to the moon, but first, they have to have a successful uh, test flight around the moon and back from Artemis 1, a minimum of drama. And right now, they can't even get it off the ground. Lilia? From the Kennedy Space Center, Mark Strassman, thank you.